Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 7th of 2019. Well, it is titled Messier 45, the daughters of Atnes and Pleione. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Pleiades star cluster, sometimes known as the Seven Sisters. And it is a open cluster. An open cluster is a relatively young cluster of stars that formed in the recent past, at least astronomically speaking. And in this case, we estimate the age of the Pleiades cluster to be about 100 million years. Now, how can we estimate how old a cluster is? Well, we look at the stars that exist in it and you look for the most massive star that still exists in a cluster because stars age faster, the more massive stars will go through their lives faster. The one that is still there that is still present gives you a limit to the age of a cluster. So st while stars like the sun would all still exist in the Pleiades cluster, m many more massive stars would have already evolved. And since we know how long stars of various types live, the ones that are still there, the most massive star that is still present in the cluster can give us an idea of how old this cluster is. And we also see, in addition, the reflection nebula. Now we talk often about nebulae. Uh, we often see emission nebulae where light from the star excites the hydrogen gas around that and causes it to glow red. In this case, we are seeing a bluish glow and that is caused not by hydrogen gas or by any other gas, but by dust around the stars. So dusty material will reflect the light from the stars and will then glow blue. Now, why is it blue? Well, the dust is very good at scattering the blue light. So it appears to come from all directions, while the red lights or longer wavelengths actually pass through the dust. So we use red or infrared light to really look into regions of star formation to be able to penetrate the dust to see them. And the dust will then scatter all the blue light so it appears to come from all directions. And we see that here in this image. And it's a similar uh, type of process to what happens to give us a blue sky. As the sun sets, we get all of the blues are scattered out by the atmosphere particles in the atmosphere atmosphere and then appear to come from all directions. So as we watch the sunset, it may go from yellow to orange to deep red as it gets close to the horizon and as light has to pass through more atmosphere. But that blue light still comes around still is still there and still scatters through the atmosphere and appears to come from all directions then giving us a blue sky. And that is similar to what is happening here with dust particles around the Pleiades star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for November the 7th of 2019. It was titled Messier 45, the daughters of Atlas and Pleione. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.